Hi everyone, today is Monday, March 16th, 2015. We're going to go over and take a look at a few things in Russia. The President Putin was missing for almost 10 days and now he has made his appearance and everybody can relax that he's not dead or in some bunker ready to push the nukes at the moment. But he has appeared. Well, there was a fire in Moscow yesterday at the Novodeshi Convent. As a, it's like a large church area right there. Most people don't know that nearly all of Russia has come to Christianity and is in what's known as the Russian Orthodox Church. It is a mimic of the Catholic Church. They even have an individual that's like a pope. He's called a patriarch. And they even have the statues of Mary and the beads and the Eucharist and such. All of this is set up for the New World Order coming, just as right here in The Economist magazine. See Obama in the middle, and on the right-hand side now you can see the Pied Piper and the Russian Orthodox Church rising up with the helicopter, meaning guillotines, and this is the New Eucharist, Germany rising up, Hillary Clinton and the secret government of the USA like Napoleon and Genghis Khan all rising up. Even this guy right here called Djokovic from, I mean, this guy's killed many people as he's taken over his country and stuff through there. China will rise up. And this is the woman of the Bible that is caught away with the wings of a great eagle. See this 11.5 earthquake that is supposed to hit the USA and then allows all of this side to rise up. Even Britain is supposed to be hit with a nuke. See this rocket ship that is like castor oil? The wise virgins with their oil leave with the woman, just like many people in Britain will be leaving when this nuke hits. This is the rapture. I show that the rapture is a giant cataclysmic event. It's not just you being whisked away and then nobody, nothing happens. There's going to be giant earthquakes, tidal waves, cataclysms, nuclear war, and then the New World Order will rise up and the tribulation saints will be on their journey to the, towards the guillotines. Well, this all symbolized this right here of this church burning. On our channel, we fulfill Acts 217 where we will receive signs in the heavens and on the earth and that everything will literally be mapped out here right in front of us. Do you see Nova Dev Devishi passage? It also means the end of the Devi. You see the word D-E-V-I in there? An actual spirit. That's her. In the Bible, the it's, it's supposed to all be burned with fire is what all happens. And then for 42 months the beast out of the sea rises. Do you see the address? 119 exactly like 911. See? Like the beast from the bottomless pit is ready to rise, the 911 beast as we keep showing that rises with the bottomless pit being opened. That great earthquake means that. Okay, let's take that off of there. Can you see the Pope receiving the grievous head wound yet? This represents the Vatican and the USA being hit. There's the Pope, right there, giving out his Eucharist. And then he will rise back up. The Russian Orthodox Church will rise up with the mark of the beast and such after the Vatican is hit. Right here is on the Illuminati. See him coming? See the red side rising? See the eagle for the woman? Do you see the eagle leaving? I'm going to give you a few seconds here. As the church is burning up, there is an actual phoenix leaving right here. It's right here in the United Nations. Right here in this giant, almost two-story size mural they stand in front of. See the phoenix, the eagle ready to leave? As it burns up, the beast receives its grievous head wound. The white horse will ride. This is a nuke. See that big egg and the wedding feast of the lamb? It's a big nuke. Over here the people are rising up going through this cabinet to heaven. And on this side they're rising to utter contempt and the great tribulation is starting with the white horse riding. Here is the woman right here who has granted the wings of the eagle to fly all the way to heaven as she's been over here the church has been holding down the law and the beast. Do you see the phoenix leaving yet? Realize what I'm showing you here. There's, 
these two things verify each other. As a detective, if I show you this, it's one thing. You go, okay, I can kind of see that if I get in there a little bit. You know, I, yeah, okay, I can kind of see that. Okay, well, how do we verify that? Just like this. Now we showed this here. Now we just showed the eagle ready to rise as the church is receiving its grievous head wound. That verifies both things as a detective. In other words, this is real. You see that? The Devi, ready to go. This is shown over in Washington also. Everything's going as a script, right by the Bible. You have the church ready to be burned with fire, just like the great whore ready to be burned, and then the eagle will rise to take the woman off to safety, and then the new world order will rise up. As the, U the USA is going to be crippled, guys. People just can't seem to realize this. This is going to destroy the USA from west coast to east coast. They even have a new movie out called San Andreas, and they say the same thing in the movie. The earthquake that hits the west coast will be so big that tidal waves will flood the east coast. New York will sink. Florida will sink. The New Madrid fault line go. Yellowstone is going to go. The USA will be done. Crippled. And these guys are not going to be crippled. So the greatest military on the earth is going to be gone. And then these guys will rise up. These will be the greatest military on the earth then. Germany, Russia, China, ten nations with the secret government of the USA. There's Hillary Clinton. See it right there? Isn't this remarkable? That's your rapture. Right there. Your eagle out. The wings granted to the woman. Let's head over to the USA and show this also. This is Washington, D.C. See right here, Washington, D.C.? Everything's mapped out. As the USA falls, you are supposed to be going to heaven. In other words, if you survive all this event, then you were not chosen to go to the wedding feast of the Lamb. That's what that represents. Do you see the Pope right here yet, receiving the grievous head wound? Right there. See the Pope? And now this represents the jet that we just saw. You see this leaving? As the woman leaves, this giant earthquake is going to happen. You are not supposed to survive this if you are with Jesus Christ. If you do survive, you're a tribulation saint and you didn't go in the rapture event at that point. If you're whisked away or even if you perish, you will end up in heaven at this point at the wedding feast of the Lamb. See the nuke hitting Britain? You see where it says ellipse? This means an elliptical alignment, like with a star system. And then you see the eagle's nest. All of us rising. See the eagle nest? See this down here? That represents the harp machine. Right there. This is the woman of the Bible leaving right then. As this harp machine event happens, it's going to cripple and give the head wound of the world as we all leave. And the USA is going to be destroyed. See here? 11.5. By the woman and by Jesus. This is mostly going to be done by the woman and by Jesus Christ as they bruise the serpent's head. We all leave. Go to the wedding feast of the Lamb. We're going to heaven. So there you go. The same exact thing we just showed in Russia. Welcome to the Matrix. It's all going perfectly by the script. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. There's the heart machine. There's the 11.5 earthquake that will hit the USA when the woman and Jesus leave. And all of this rises up, following the Pied Piper to death. Jesus sends a great deception. In other words, Jesus wants this to happen. Jesus wants China to rise up. He wants Putin to rise up. He wants all of this stuff to happen because then they go and trick the world. Anybody that does not trust Jesus will end up with the mark of the beast. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you will go to the guillotines, you will perish and show your faith, and you will end up over here with us in heaven. Exactly like that. This is the harvest. This is the wheel of the great tribulation. This is the millstone cast down. It's all going to happen perfectly by the script of the Bible. The five the 50 for the fifth age coming.
C to 5. C to 5. Thank you very much, everybody. Hallelujah. May God have mercy on us all.